Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic uh, Organic Chemistry 2. And previously we looked at the preparation of alcohols. We say that the alcohols are prepared by three methods. And later on we looked at some of the physical properties of alcohols. For this session we are going to focus on the chemical properties of alcohols. So one of the properties is combustion. So alcohols will burn with a blue flame. Ethanol especially burns with a blue flame, uh, which is almost colorless. So the, the resultant gas usually turns lime water to a white precipitate. That tells you that it's carbon dioxide because that is the test for carbon dioxide. So ethanol burns in air, producing carbon dioxide. Water and heat is given off. So the lower members of the series burn with a blue or non-luminous plate, leaving no residue. So as the carbon chain increases, it becomes more luminous and smoky because you see the larger the molecule, it means you have more carbon uh, atoms present. So it means it doesn't completely burn as compared to when the molecule is small. So this is the equation for the combustion of ethanol. When you come to the more chemistry, you might be required to know to write this equation, uh, especially when you're calculating the amount of heat that is um, used up maybe to boil water. So this is something that is also repeated. Remember, alcohols are also used as fuels. And then if an alkano is burnt in a limited supply or in uh, there is an incomplete combustion, so it forms carbon two oxide or carbon and water. So it's either carbon two oxide or carbon. And then uh, the next property is the reaction with metals. Remember I told you that alcohols are slightly acidic in nature, although you can't say the same acidic properties with alkanoic acids, but they are slightly acidic in that they dissociate in order to form hydrogen ions. That's why their pH will be slightly lower than six. So for example, if sodium is uh, placed in a beaker containing ethanol, it usually dots on the surface and then dissolves and disappears. So the beaker becomes warmer, meaning that the reaction is exothermic. And then there is effervescence. Effervescence uh, causes because of happens because of the production of hydrogen gas. So when alkanos reacts with metals, and these metals are electroposive like sodium, potassium, and aluminium, they liberate hydrogen and they form a salt called metal alkoxide. So you can see it's behaving like a typical acid where the acid reacts with a metal to form salt and hydrogen gas. Although now this is the only one that reacts with it. They can't react with anything apart from the metal. As you notice, is is a, a differing property when you come to it, uh, to alkanoic acid. So examples of alka alkanos reacting with metals um, so we have propanol reacting with sodium is going to form sodium propoxide and hydrogen gas and then we have um this is uh pentanol reacts with potassium to form potassium pentoxide and hydrogen gas is given off and then the other property of alcohols is esterification, which you'll notice you're going to repeat also again when we come to properties of uh, alkanoic acids. So when you react alcohols with acids in presence of a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid, you form a substance that has a pleasant smell. This substance is are called esters, and this process is referred to as esterification. So, for example, when you react ethanol with an ethanoic acid, we form an ester called ethyl ethanoid plus water. So, the alkyl part of the ester comes from the alcohol, and then the alkanoid part comes from the alkanoic acid. So, for example, if we were to react ethanol and propanoic acid, what would we would form is ethyl propanoid. 
and we can show that by drawing ethanol so it is important for us to remember this because it also comes in polymerization uh esterification is also a process that happens in formation of polymers so i'm going to to put um the 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 chain for the the basic unit for carboxylic acid this side or alkanoic acid so that you can be able to see what happens and ensure that carbon has bonded with four boards before you proceed so if you react these two what happens the oh in the alcohol reacts with hydrogen in the acid these two react to form water that's why the first product you see is water and then the rest is combined so we are going to combine the rest of the molecule as it is So the name of our molecule will be ethyl and ethyl is this part of the molecule and then propanoid which forms this part which comes from the alcohol and then with propanol and ethanoic we are going to form propyl ethanoid so if you were to show that we can draw the uh, propanol with three carbon um, atoms make sure the carbon are fully bonded with four boards each of them and then uh, we react it with ethanoic acid so place the basic unit for carboxylic acid this side so that we can see how it reacts so the OH of the alcohol reacts with the H of the acid to form water and then we just combine the rest which is going to have the alkyl part which is from the alcohol and in this case our alcohol is a propanol so it becomes a propyl and then the alkanoid uh, part comes from the acid So it becomes a uh, propyl uh, ethanoid. Another property of alcohols is their oxidation property, where they they, they can be oxidized by oxidizing agents. Uh, when they're oxidized by oxidizing agent, they form alkanoic acid. That's the reason why also this reaction is going to be repeated again when we come to properties or preparation of alkanoic acids. So, for example, ethanol is oxidized by oxidizing agents such as potassium manganate 7 and potassium dichromate. Potassium manganate 7 is purple in color and potassium dichromate is orange in color so when they oxidize it forms ethanoic acid so when reacted with ethanol the acidified potassium permanganate seven turns colorless and when we use the um, this is because the manganate ions are reduced to manganese two ions as you can see and then the acidified potassium chromate turns green so it's turning from orange to green due to the reduction of chromate ions into chromium three ions so this is what happens this is just a general equation for the formation of the alkanoic acid so we start with alcohol we have the oxidizing agent remember it needs to be acidified so in the reaction we are also introducing some hydrogen ions so this alcohol reacts to form the alkanoic acid plus water which is given off and this is the setup as you can see so ethanol is is given off as a gas and then it cools down to form the solution 
So this is now for the ethanol. You can see in the reaction. And remember again, I said that the um, the oxidizing agent needs to be acidified. Next, we will see the oxidation of ethanol with hot copper metal. So when ethanol is passed over heated copper at about 300 degrees Celsius, it becomes dehydrogenated. That is, the hydrogen is removed. This process forms uh, ethanol. So ethanol is, this is how ethanol is formed. It's still, the oxidation, like you can see the oxidation of alcohols with oxidizing agent but this happens in presence of copper so it doesn't this it, like it doesn't go to complete reaction and then also ethanol undergoes dehydration so it, it's dehydrated in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid um, to form alkene so this is the actually the, the method of preparation of alkenes so the concentrated sulfuric acid reacts with ethanol to form ethene and water. It acts, the acid acts as a dehydrating. It removes the water elements in the ethanol. So for example, ethanol can be dehydrated to form ethene. And at temperatures which are about 150, there is incomplete dehydration. So ether is formed as a result. You can see how ether is. It basically two uh two uh ethanes with an oxygen bonded at the center. So finally, some of the uses of alcohols is used as a solvent in preparations of drugs, uh used as fuels when blended with gasoline to form gasol. It is also they are used also for the manufacture of synthetic fibers. And then they are used as antiseptic when used under special concentration. And alcohol, ethanol is used as an alcohol that is only in low concentration. So that brings us to the end. Uh, I hope you have been able to understand some of these properties. A stratification is tested highly in the exam. So make sure you're able to understand that because you're going to use the same knowledge in polymerization. So see you in the next lesson.